Oh man, I love Winnipeg. I've been uh, I've been enjoying the summer. Uh, yesterday, though, weird situation. I was at the beach and I read about this kind of stuff on Facebook. I love animals, and I ended up seeing a dog trapped in a car for an hour. Windows rolled up. The owners obviously were enjoying themselves too much to uh, come crack the windows. So after an hour, I had had enough, and I smashed the window to save the dog inside the car. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Turns out it was a wolf blanket. <laughs> Draped very evenly over a back seat. Very photorealistic. This is not your gas station piece of shit, shit wolf blanket. This was a farmer's market to scale representation. Um, so now the story is I have a wolf blanket, ladies and gentlemen. I am proud owner of a new purloined wolf tapestry. <laughs> oh, man. I, uh... It's weird when you grow up dealing with things like uh, depression and stuff. I suffer from depression. I, I don't have a depression. I have lots of friends who do. They are whiny as shit, right, man? Oh, God. It's hard to have fun being sad two or three times a year like a man ought to with your constantly depressed friend bogarting all the misery. And I got a roommate. I get home. I'm just trying to get my gripe on. I'm like, oh, man, I had a horrible day today. Well, I struggle not to have a bad day every day. Well, you win again, Captain Bring down. Uh, uh, I'm acting tough. That's not actually how I feel about depression. I, I went online and I tried to research the symptoms so I could be more empathetic to it. But just one of the symptoms always sticks out and bugs me. It's this one. Oh, man, it's hard to get out of bed in the morning. Yep. <laughs> Winnipeg, do you know anyone who wakes up like, Oh, thank God! <laughs> I have had it up to here with that bullshit. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm about done with this giant cushion. <laughs> and it's two happy cushion friends up at the top there. It's time to hit rush hour traffic and blow off some of the stress. <laughs> Goes weird ways, male insecurity. We take weird paths when we grow up. There's a guy at my gym on so many steroids, I just feel sorry for him. Like, I just want to walk up to him and be like, hey man, how about today we start with 10 reps of really good hugs? <laughs> Followed down a, a cool down set of me telling you you're okay the way you are. <laughs> or we could do leg day. I've noticed you've been doing steroids for five years and you haven't worked your legs once. It's a weird look at this point. You're kind of, I don't know, you're Arnold Schwarzenegger up top and Taylor Swift in the basement, dude. You're, you're like a ripped waffle cone. <laughs> Cause you're all that guy at our gym that screams while he lifts and you know, he's doing steroids, it's obvious cause he looks like he's smuggling volleyballs in his shoulders and his forehead looks like that gap that Tom Cruise had to jump when he was mountain climbing in MI3. You know, it's just a big overhang. He's just crow magnon to the max. Sporting a tribal tattoo, of course. <laughs> yeah, even though he's white, blonde haired, blue eyes. I'm like, is Hitler Youth a tribe now? I... <laughs> Or is, did I miss a tribe of people who have $120 and not an original thought in their fucking head? Is that the tribe you're a part of? It's always scream lifting. And I'm just waiting for the subtext to creep through. Just, Dad, why'd you leave? after he's done with the weight, is he going to put it down gently? He's the strongest guy most equipped to do so. Nope. He's going to throw the equipment at the equipment. Then he's going to look at everyone else like, what the hell are you looking at? Oh, I'll tell you what I'm looking at. A hulking behemoth with Barbie legs who is destroying the local community center. So why didn't you calm it down, Toddzilla? And stop staring at that one young lady after you drop the weight every time you drop the weight. You're scaring her. Really putting the stare in steroid right now. <laughs> Gonna be the first person in the history of the world to have to pre-register as a sex offender. <laughs> I miss my diet. I'm at the gym now because I, I can't diet anymore the way I used to because I quit smoking weed. 
And you guys are like, Ryan, doesn't that make you eat more food? Not necessarily. Had a great workout regimen. What I do is I go to the superstore parking lot, I'd smoke a gagger, get unbelievably baked, then I'd walk around inside and everything would look so good I couldn't decide. So I'd walk around for 45 minutes, burn 300 calories, and someone would scare me and I'd leave. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs>